I have tape. We do have tape. Where do we have tape? Like, I don't know. What is the tape for? Lucky Man. We are ready to do another activity, guys. Are you guys ready to do it with us? I have set out a little maze of tape on the floor. I'll show it to you in just a minute. So this activity is pretty simple. I think it's called Line of Tape Spoon Transfer. I got this idea from Hands On as we grow. This five day challenge that we're doing this week. If you are just coming upon this video, we did one yesterday of, what did we do? We did paper skating, skiing, snowboarding, whatever you wanna call it. We did that, so if you wanna check that out, you can find that down below. Um, we are doing a five day challenge of getting active inside. So this activity required painter's tape to make the lines on the floor and it required some objects and a spoon. So I'm using our Lego box, which has lots of Legos in it, a spoon, which Anna has right now, I think, and a laundry basket. This is what we're gonna do, Anna. Okay? Got I'm gonna have you come over here. Come over here. Grab a Lego out of the bin. Put it in your spoon. Yeah. Put it in your spoon. Yeah. Okay? Now walk on the path. See, I need a path to the basket. Can you walk inside the path? to the basket and put the Lego in the basket. No, 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 wrong basket. <laughs> Good try. The path is down this way, see? See how there's a path? Here, get your, get your Lego again, here, come back over here. See, you gotta walk in between the tape. The mama did, okay? See, here, I'll show you, I'll show you how to walk, okay? Like this, like this. Do, 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 do. Right in the basket. Can you do that? Oh, you're doing it. I don't care. Walk right into the bat and put it in the basket. Can the next one, can it stay in the spoon? Get another, go back and get another basket block. Can you put it in the spoon this time? This one? Maybe if you get a little one. Like one of these little guys, maybe that will help. See if you can just hold it right there. Will that help? Okay, yes. see if you can do it now. Walk all the way to the basket. Oh, you are doing so, so good. Oops. It fell out. That's okay. There you go. Plunk. Oh, now you can go get more. I think little ones help, doesn't it? Let's see. Here's, here's one. Here's a big one. Yeah. So the point of this one is to get them moving again, like yesterday's. So she can just walk back and forth, transferring objects from one place to the other. If this gets too easy, we'll do things like making a curvy line or having her sort things or something like that. The spoon might actually not be perfect, but whatever. We'll work on it. We'll come back in a little bit. Now what's going on? The line's helping me. Oh, the straight line was way too easy for her. She got bored after like four runs. So I was making it better. Help. And then she needed the lion to help her, huh? Look at the path. You lost your lion. All right, can you do the path now? In Lego. Yep. You gotta stay inside. Whoa, whoa, whoa go back. You gotta stay inside the path. You get. You got outside the path, silly. Ah! You got out of the path again. So you gotta go that way now. You're doing pretty good. Just a little crazy, huh? How do you like this activity? Good. It's good? Is it fun? Are you adapting it to meet your own needs? We'll see how long this one lasts. Checked out my mind. You checked out your mind? Okay, so we, we changed up our little game here a little bit. Um, we're sorting Legos 
in different colors. Red goes in there. Red goes in the black basket. Green Legos go in the green. No, no, no. Wrong one. Wrong one. Red ones go over here. Okay. There you go. Okay, come back and get more. Come back. We kind of ditched the whole maze thing because she was not following it. Here's a red one. Take that one. No, just take one at a time. Maybe if I hand her the blocks too, that will help her. Maybe I'll put it where the red ones go. There you go. Where do the blue ones go? Here, yeah, the black one. Yeah, there you go. That one. Red one goes. Good job. All right. So, what did you think of that activity? Was it good? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs down. Thumbs down? No, you liked it, Zilly. The sorting the Legos part probably lasted the longest. She played with this activity for probably half an hour to 45 minutes easily, but definitely the Lego part with the sorting was her favorite. We'd love to hear if you do this challenge as well. Let us know down in the comments if you do and what changes you make and also what ages kids you're doing it with. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with others who might be able to use this for their toddlers. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.